CSU Extension Rangeline Curriculum. Sarah Grant Number LNC 19-419. Come spend a day with us in the life of a farmer or rancher through the good days and the bad. Jen Peterson. I'm Ryder Peterson. We ranch with my husband's family here in Sydney, Montana. When we come out and check cows, it's really important that we uh, always check water. Um, we also count our cows to make sure we have all of them countable to make sure they're there as well. Um, and take a peek at the fence. When we're riding through cows, we're always looking for anything with sore eyes or a limp. be something wrong with them we try to get him in and doctor him as soon as possible that way he has a chance of coming back around and healing up because bulls are bulls are a lot of money they're about the most expensive animal on the place so we like to keep the best care of them because they are cheap to, to place and without a bull you don't have calves and without calves you don't have a major part of ranching is fencing wild animals like deer and antelope and mainly the snow is extremely hard on fences so every spring you gotta go around all the fence make sure everything's tight because you don't want to get have your cows getting out This is just electric fence. This electric fencer is powered by uh, solar, charged off the sun. We just use it as a temporary fence. We'll take it down in the fall. Just using it for horses right now for grazing different areas, just utilizing the grass best we can. So these are just some easy panels I built a couple winters ago with um, some called sucker rod just some metal I welded together in the shop a couple winters ago for they're portable can move them around in the pastures I'm using it for a round pen right now but they can be moved out to the pasture if I need them need to use them to load cows or horses or anything this is just a pen I've been working on for the horses for winter and summer I guess this is the Winter water, it's heated, keep it from freezing during the winter. And this is a windbreak, windbreak fence I've been working on. Just reusing some old high line poles. Kind of an inexpensive, sort of easy way to make some windbreak. And then I'm just building, a, building another pen here. And I got a shelter built already for the horses to get them out of the weather. This is why it's important to always check your water. Looks like the cows were biting flies around the water tank here and something stepped in it and broke this board and they broke the pipe where the water comes out so the water's not going in the tank like it should be. It doesn't take but a few days of no water and you'll have either cows busting through the fence or cows dying. So the cows must have crowded the water a little too hard and they pushed over and broke these boards and 
broke off the inlet to the water so we're just putting new boards up and trying to keep them from breaking the water again. So, ruin your water tank and they dirty up the water when they're standing in it. Just got the last 24 hours. Sometimes late or at night on a weekend, you just kind of got to fix things so they'll work till the week when you can fix it right. And that's kind of what we did here just so the cows will for sure have water and We'll fix it right on Monday morning. <laughs>